and tonight we have made this animation for you to show you exactly what happened. Two planes nearly collide at Washington's Reagan National Airport. One was on the runway, the other crossed it. Our John Atwater is live at Logan right now where that flight did land late this afternoon, John. Yeah, landed this afternoon, Ed, safely, but it was six hours late because of this close call. Now, in this audio from air traffic controllers, you can hear them tell the pilot to stop. Blue Street 5226, left turn at November behind Embraer, ground point seven. Left turn November behind Embraer, ground point seven, Blue Street 5226. And we stopped at Blue Street 5226. Now, this is another animation that shows you what happened. A JetBlue flight cleared for takeoff, heading down the runway. At that moment, a Southwest flight is about to cross the runway, cleared to make that move by another air traffic controller. Now, they did not collide, but it came close. They were just about 400 feet apart, which is about the length of three airplanes, so pretty close. A woman who was on that JetBlue flight to Boston describes the moment her plane had to abort takeoff. We were on the runway taking flight, um, and then they hit the brakes. Um, we were rerouted back to the gate uh, where they did their checks, informed that there was potentially an issue with separation due to another flight. In my opinion, this was a very serious situation because there was almost no margin for any further error. And that is ABC aviation analyst John Nance describing just how catastrophic this potentially could have been this morning in Washington. JetBlue says that plane was inspected in Washington. It landed here in Boston just before three. The FAA says it is now looking into how this happened.